Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at some new watercolor pans that I recently got. They're the Van Gogh 12 Pans Pocket Box and I'm really excited because they are also the Vibrant Colors theme and this will be the first time that I'll be using a watercolor pan set that has a particular color theme so I really can't wait to see how these colors like look on paper. For anyone who wants to know a little bit more about the Van Gogh brand, they seem to be owned by Royal Talons and it says, oh, <laughs> it says here on their website, Van Gogh watercolors are a student and artist level range of paints featuring brilliant, transparent, and intense colors with high tinting strength. Most colors are rated with the highest degree of light fastness, three pluses, with a few colors rated just one step below at two plus. Size. Thanks to the purity and uniform viscosity, these watercolors are easy to work with and easy to mix. Proudly produced in Holland with stringent quality control for a consistent experience with every purchase. So I've never used this brand before personally. I've heard a lot about it online from other artists though, so I'm really excited to check it out. And super curious about this high tinting strength. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get this opened up. Ooh, I get to open each one individually. I love that, like little candies. <laughs> and so this set comes with a portable brush. Oh, this is so cute. I love brushes like this. So you open it up and you put it together and you have like, you have a more full size brush that you can carry around. I love these. So this will be fun to try out too. And I believe on the back of the box, it said something about this being removable. Okay, yeah. So this hand set is removable. So we can also get two different places to mix. That's the whole set. Let's open the candies up. <laughs> oh, okay. It also says on the wrapper, which I have so terribly torn up, it shows right on the wrapper that you can see the light fat Fast, uh, you can see the light fastness for each color. So this one gets the three pluses. Looks like this pink one gets the two plus signs. And that's the only color that gets the two plus signs. So that's pretty cool. All right, here is everything fully opened. They already look really vibrant, just dry on the pan like this. So let's do some swatches. So I quickly put together this little swatch card that I hope to carry around with me in the travel set. Yeah, sometimes these travel sets come with the swatch card and I wish this one did, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. I threw this together pretty quickly. Okay, here are the colors. Oh, they are still a little wet. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll show you guys the colors when they're dry. These are the colors. They're super vibrant, just as they promised. They're literally called the Vibrant Color Set, so thank goodness they met their standards on that. Yeah, let's actually get some painting. I made this sketch on Procreate and I traced it onto this paper. I thought it would be much faster to do things that way than for me to freehand it all by pencil and then maybe I can have a little more time to do another painting with you guys. We will see. Mm. 
I have a bad habit of forgetting to leave white space to let the paper shine through and I always end up having to bring back some of that white later but I remembered this little trick I saw on TikTok of kind of tracing the white before really painting around it you know so I'm glad I finally remembered to try that because that seemed to work okay for me <laughs> guess you forgot to tape her paper <laughs> yeah thankfully it's not warping as bad as it should be this paper's pretty good but um yeah it's been a while since i've had to tape watercolor paper because this paper tends to come in like the pads with the glue on both ends but to be able to trace on it, I had to take it out. Um, and yeah, I just forgot. Don't be like me. We've got time for one more painting, so here's the sketch that I put together. And this time I'm using my Arteza watercolor canvas paper, so once I'm done here, I can fold this all up and put it into a 3D canvas and hang it up somewhere.
I went super simple on this last one. I just wanted to mess around with color a little bit more without having the stress of finishing a complete image and getting everything perfect. Next, I'm using, oops, I forgot a bubble. Okay, so next I'll be using a black Mandolama paint marker. I reviewed these in a previous video. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll also include that in the description. Ah, well, that, that ruined that, so I gotta give it a minute. Here, instead I'll just draw on this side. Okay, so here are the final results of both the paintings. What do you think? I personally really like the way they both came out. The colors are quite vibrant, quite high tint, I believe is what they promised. The colors were also super creamy and they stayed moist for a super long time. I really only had to spritz it twice this whole day that I've been painting. I really only have one complaint, and that is with this brush that it comes with. Okay, I have many complaints, but they're only all about this brush. So I don't know if it came broken or something, but this tip is really weird to me. It's like, it looks like it got sliced through and it is sharp. I've, I've been, I've been poked by it multiple times while I try to hold the brush as I paint and it just, it's sharp. It doesn't feel very good. So I'm not sure what that's about. Also, it kept falling apart. It did that about three times and one of the times it actually fell apart in my water jug. So that was cool. I actually have a, here, one sec. Okay, so I actually have a different brush that I love to use, and it's this one. It's Gray Matters is the brand, and it's got more weight to it in comparison. This just feels like really cheap plastic. So this has like more weight to it, and it just like, it actually holds itself together. So when I used this, it felt like a huge downgrade. I'm probably, honestly, never gonna use it again. Not a fan. Uh, the paints were definitely worth it. I love the paints. I can't wait to use them again. There is one thing that it did that I liked, and it's that it holds a lot of water really well, which is like one of the main things you need for watercolor brush pens. So I was kind of surprised based on all of the other cons that I felt for this brush pen that it actually did that correctly. It takes 
with that what you will. But like I said, uh, the one that I've got is just way better. So I would recommend you guys check out the, that other one. I'm not actually sure how much it cost me. I don't want to make a bad guess. I'll put in the description down below if I can find it online for you guys because I bought it in a store. But you know, other than my reserves about the brush, everything else was great. I certainly wouldn't regret buying this again. And I hope you guys had a great time with me today. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's a huge help for me. I will see you guys next time. Bye!